Hey guys, Mike here and this is the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. The latest version, it was released uh, right here and uh, it should be what you're going to have in, uh, in stores for the rest of 2013 and the first part of 2014. A uh, new flagship tablet, definitely impressive in terms of specs. You have a 2.3 GHz quad-core processor in here, of course the latest, uh, the most powerful processor available. Uh, for such devices right now. You have Android uh, 4.3, once again the latest version. This is an awesome 10.1 inch screen with a 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution. So definitely incredibly sharp as you can see here. Uh, everything looks awesome. All, this, uh, all these applications and probably fonts will look just as good as well. So uh, definitely something you will like. Uh, of course in terms of apps you don't really have that many apps uh, that uh, support that kind of uh, resolution, but hopefully more will be available. That's actually the biggest problem with Android, with large Android devices. Uh, the tablet is also fairly light, fairly thin, and uh, it looks good. I mean, um, on the front face you have glass covering the entire thing. You have the buttons. You know that you notice that we have dedicated buttons here uh, on the bottom. Uh, probably not something that you will enjoy on a 10-inch tablet but uh, you will get used to that and uh, on the back we have let me go ahead and show you leather this is a very nice uh, finishing some fine stitches in here and uh, nice grip hopefully it will be reliable as well but it's definitely going to be less prone to scratches and smudges and fingerprints than uh, the older version that had that uh, glossy plastic uh, plastic back having a look around the side uh, let's see what you have here. You have a SIM slot, so this uh, supports, of course, 4G LTE speeds. You have a micro SD card slot, and you have one of the speakers. So unlike the older, uh, the older Note 10.1, this one doesn't uh, pack uh, front-facing speakers anymore. The uh, Samsung had to put them here on the side. You have one speaker on this part, and you have another speaker over uh, on this other part. And you also have this uh, holster for the pen. But we'll talk about the pen a little bit later. Well, you have to know that the pen goes in there. Uh, on top you have uh, what looks like an IR blaster, you have the uh, volume rocker and the power button and on this other side uh, you have the headphone jack, like I said the other speaker and here on the bottom there's the micro USB car connect, uh, slot, micro USB slot and of course a microphone for noise cancelling and stuff like this. Uh, there's also a camera on the back, I believe it's a 8 megapixel camera uh, with autofocus with flash and all this uh, goodies and on the front there is another camera that can take uh, full HD uh, full HD clips <coughs> sorry um, this device is light it weighs about 530 grams so it's uh, definitely quite portable even for something as big uh, and like I said it's grippy it's comfortable to use this these edges are very nice and the back is very nice as well so it really fits uh, fits well in uh, in hand uh, we don't know exactly how much this is going to cost, we don't know when it's going to be available, but we will find that uh, uh, in uh, the near future. Uh, I'm pretty sure though that it's going to be uh, expensive, probably at least $500, so it's going to be uh, as expensive or as cheap, no matter, uh, it depends on, uh, on you and how you're going to take that, as the iPad, uh, the next generation iPad, uh, which is the most popular device of this size uh, right now. Okay, that was just a quick look with, at uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, the 2014 edition. More details will be available in the future. We'll have a review, we'll have some uh, in-depth comparisons. So look forward to those on our channel and I'll catch you in the next clip. Thanks.